All right, welcome back to another episode, and today I have a special <laughs> guest, Jeff Godfrey, who also has a YouTube channel. Go ahead and shout it out. Uh, it's J Free Skating, J Y F R E E Skating. Yeah, he's got some pretty sick videos also, and he. The reason I have him on here is because he has some of the funniest stories ever, and one in particular, which was actually what this year. No, it was it was many years ago. Oh, okay, well I wish way. I wish it was this year. <laughs> I've come calmed down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was. What what was the cause of this? What are the odds? Is that is that what got this started? Yeah, so if a... you guys have ever heard of what are the odds, it's basically like you can explain it. Okay, you play a lot more than me. Yeah, so um, basically the basis of what are the odds is just a way to get others to do stupid things. Um, but you put it in the form of a game and people are a lot more willing to do it. Uh, so basically what happens is somebody says, Hey, what are the odds you do this thing? And then, you know, they give a number, they say one in, you know, 10 halfbacks or whatever. And then, so basically what happens is there's a one in 10 chance that someone will have to do it. And if it's halfbacks, then there's a... 50%. That's where it gets you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's double the chance. <laughs> and it's instead 20% chance. So basically, it's just a way to get your friends to do stupid things. But the lower your, the odds you say, the more likely that one of you two will be will have to do it. We play this game a lot within our friend group. Like, I mean, I've yeah. multiple times a day often. We've <laughs> done a lot of really stupid things. But this one might be the worst one. Yes. So go ahead and go ahead and start and tell them uh, what, so, what happened with this. I was not actually here for this story, so that's why I can't tell it. So yeah. Um. So we went to Walmart. Um. And we were just it was the beginning of the school year, so we just went um and bought groceries. So all of us were just buying groceries, and then um Michael, another one of our friends, he was with us, and he said. No, he didn't say it. I asked him. I said, I was kind of bored because I wasn't buying anything. So I was just kind of walking around and I didn't really want to be like everybody's kind of like pet. <laughs> so I decided to uh, do something interesting. So I asked him, I just said, hey, Michael, what are the odds you go up to the service desk and say that you've lost your two-year-old son... <laughs> M Micah, who was another person that was with us at the time. Who was not two, by the way. <laughs> He's an adult. <laughs> uh, so, basically, this man, this absolute idiot, he says, one in six halfbacks. <laughs> and you can't go back on it once you've no. said it. So. Once you ask the question and they said the number, like, that's it. Like, it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, and we're actually, we actually care a lot about this. There's a council, yeah. um, that we enforce that if you don't do your odds, then we just come up with something worse for you to do instead. So yeah, you have to be very careful when you ask a question cause you could wind up doing it yourself. Yes. So what you, the way that it works. Careful. Yeah. So whenever somebody says halfbacks, that means that you are twice as likely as they are to do the thing. So whenever you ask something, you have to be willing to do it yourself. <laughs> Um, so, he says one in six, which means, I don't know the percentage, 16.7? Yeah. Something, something like that, for yeah. him, and a third, one third chance that I will have to do this thing. So, we count down, you count down from three, two, one, and then you say a number at the same time. Yeah. So, if you say the same number, if we said the same number in this instance, Michael would have to do it. Um, but we counted down, and I don't even know what numbers we said, but it wasn't the same. And then so it was back to me. One third chance that I would have to do it. <laughs> and, you know, we count down. I don't know what the number was, but we both said the same number. And I was, <laughs> I was not happy. I, to, to say the least, I was not happy. So I go up to the, I go up to the service desk, and there's a line. I don't know what to do, so I just wait in line. Yeah. I just wait in line and I'm like third or whatever. It's, it's really quick, but I get up to the service desk <laughs> and I say, I'm very calm the whole time, not on the inside, <laughs> but outwardly I say, 
Hey, I'm made of his art. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna lie, you have to learn how to do it. Yeah, you gotta, be, um, you gotta sell it. Yeah, so I give the service desk and I say, Yes, um, I've lost my son, my two year old son. His name's Micah Polly. And I even, for some reason, I even like did this to show how <laughs> tall he was. Yeah, yeah, tall. <laughs> and then I say, Can you call? over the intercom and just tell him that me and his grandmother will be waiting for him at this place. And for some reason, for some reason, like, I just thought, okay, you get, they're going to call over the intercom and be like, hey, I'm Michael Pauly, you know, come to this place, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, <at all. laughs> it is definitely not what happened. So as soon as this happens, um, just a lady, she asked me, she asked me, a bu not a bunch of questions, but she asked me a few questions, like, what was he wearing? And I was like, I don't know. And she asked me another question, like, I said he has brown hair, that's literally the only thing I described <laughs> about him. Brown hair, too. Um, and anyway, she's like, she like writes it down on like this little um, sticky note that she has beside her desk. And then, as soon as I'm done talking to her, she goes, she gets on a walkie-talkie, and throughout the whole store, and she goes, we have a code where we have a missing two-year-old boy, <laughs> brunette. And I was like, what? Was At like, this point, you realize <laughs> that you have screwed up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I made a big boo-boo. <laughs> I take this very seriously, because kids get kidnapped and stuff like that all okay. the time. Okay, yes, I was young, I was stupid, and I realized I will never do anything like this again. Um, so basically, I go out from the service desk, and I, I just go out, and I see this whole store is in chaos mode. Like, you see, in, like, you see the employees going up and down every aisle looking for this boy, who, by the way, doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> There's no two-year-old boy. Um, and I was just like, oh my gosh. I was like, I have not done the best thing. And I was like, I had no idea what to do. So I go back, I go back to the people that I was with and I was like, yeah, this is like a, this is like a pretty big deal. And he's like, yeah, <laughs> I can tell. Like I, like the whole story is like in a rampage. So I get the keys, I get the keys uh, for my friend, um, whoever drove. And I call, I call him on the phone after I just talked to him, but I call him on the phone and I just say, hey, I'm just going to go back to the car. And then at at the um, the exit, the lady, the same lady that I talked to at the service desk is there. And I like, hang up the phone. And I was like, that's my mother. She has him in the car. Like, thank you all so much. And I was just like, I as soon as I ended that phone call, I bolted out of that. Well, Walmart. they were going to call the cops, weren't they? Yeah, so, okay, I think what I did was board, I don't think it was illegal. Oh, it was definitely, maybe. Illegal. It was, I didn't, I didn't know it was illegal, <laughs> if it was illegal. Yeah. I knew it was stupid after the fact, but basically what I found out later from people that work at Walmart is whenever, like, whenever a child's missing, the whole store is on lockdown so nobody can come in into the store and nobody can leave the store because if there's a missing child you don't want them yeah. to leave the store yeah Can't and after right and after two minutes of not finding the child they call the police which at that point would be illegal since it's basically a false police report oh yeah they would have to go thoroughly and see the child actually even though Which he doesn't, he really doesn't exist. Been so, bad. I didn't get in any trouble because I didn't actually have the police called it. But, I mean, it was probably about a minute and a half. I was very I was very well cutting it close <laughs> to the two-minute mark. Yeah. Um, this is just what I've been told um, from people that work at Walmart. Um, so, yeah, that's... That, that's a legendary award of the odds. It's probably one of the better ones I've ever heard. Yeah, I will never... I will Did never... you learn a life lesson from that, though? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but we still play one of the odds, so maybe we didn't learn too yes, much. Yes, I learned lessons. some lessons, but I, I do odds that are less borderline frowned upon slash illegal in communities. 
And because we have rules, and the rules are nothing dangerous and nothing illegal. And I didn't know that that was. Well, well see, I lost the one of the that wasn't either. That time was that I knew of. to steal a kid. Yes, but, but you I never... didn't actually do that. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't know the game. You didn't the time, know the game, but... and you lost to me, obviously. Yeah, well, everybody, there you go. everybody tends to lose to me. Well, go ahead and uh, plug your channel one more time. Yeah, it's J Free, J A Y F R E E, skating. Yeah, make sure y'all go and subscribe and watch his videos. They're awesome. And I'm sure that, I don't know, we'll probably be in more videos together at some point. So along the time because we've 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 had some interesting stories. I used to live with him, so all the cooking videos he was around while I would make all that random <laughs> stuff. But anyways, yes. thank y'all for watching this video, and uh, if you liked it, leave a like. Make sure you check out his channel, and I'll see y'all in the next one.